How do we know the speed of light? Before the 17th century, it was thought that the speed of light was instantaneous. There was really no noticeable delay in the time a candle was lit to the time somebody saw it. We now know the speed of light is 299,792.458 kilometers per second. That's pretty damn accurate. But how? It's so fast, how could we possibly measure it? And to that accuracy? Well, for that, we need to time travel. All the way back to 1676. Alaus Romer decided to take it upon himself to try to get the right answer. He used Jupiter's moons and the time the light should hit them and the time we should see it as his guides. He then measured the difference in time that it took to hit the telescope and the actual time the light hit the moon. He came up with an answer of about 214,000 kilometers per second. The exact distances for planets wasn't known at the time, so we can understand the error. As close as it is though, we're still quite a ways away from our answer. Let's jump forward to 1728. James Bradley made another estimate by observing stellar aberration, being the apparent displacement of stars due to the motion of Earth around the Sun. He observed a star in Draco and found that its apparent position changed throughout the year. All stellar positions are affected equally in this way. This distinguishes stellar aberration from parallax, which is greater for nearby stars than it is for distant stars. To understand aberration, a useful analogy is to imagine the effect of your motion on the angle at which rain falls past you as you run through it. If you stand still in the rain when there is no wind, it falls vertically on your head. But if you run through the rain, it comes to you at an angle and hits you on the front. Bradley measured this angle for starlight, and knowing the speed of the Earth around the sun, he found a value for the speed of light of about 301,000 kilometers per second. Let's jump over a hundred years later. The first measurement of sea that didn't make use of the heavens was made by Armand Fizeau in 1849. He used a beam of light reflected from a mirror eight kilometers away. The beam was aimed at the teeth of a rapidly spinning wheel. The speed of the wheel was increased until its motion was such that the light's two-way passage coincided with the movement of the wheel's circumference by one tooth. This gave a value for C of 315,000 kilometers per second. Later experiments were done similarly, but with rotating mirrors for a better result, and those gave us 299,910 kilometers per second. Almost there. After Maxwell discovered that electricity and magnetism were just two sides of the same coin, they could derive from calculations that the speed of light was 299,788 kilometers per second. Now, let's go to 1973. Just a few years earlier, we went to the moon, and aside from leaving a bunch of space junk and a flag, we left mirrors, and later used those mirrors and our awesome lasers to get an even more accurate answer for the speed of light. We would shoot our laser beam at the mirror and just measure how much time it took to get back. C is 299,792 0.458 kilometers per second.